Now I just have, you know, one last thing to say about this whole, um, well, a few last things to say about this being able to see into the page. There are a number of things that you have to do in order for it to work. The first is always use a fixed point of view. Meaning that this camera, you see this camera, I have it mounted on a on an arm. It's mounted on a uh, let's see, what do I have it? Uh, why is that thing turning? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, fix that down. I have this mounted on a special jointed arm, which has a, a knob where I can tighten it down there. Now it now it's now it's solid. See that? It won't move very far. You know, it, it can only move as much. You know, a little bit. So the first thing that's important is a fixed point of view. In my case, I'm looking directly through this camera lens. In your case, when you draw, this means that once you choose your point of view, where you're viewing the page from, you can't move your head. You mustn't move your head in relation to your paper. And the reason for that is because if I take this drawing here, Actually, let me see if I can. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take this this drawing. I'm going to do that same thing where I sink it in. All right. So the illusion of there. So we're slightly at it at, at an angle. We're, you know, the, the straight up and down is there. That's this is more well this is sort of straight up and down right here right I mean it's it's a far cry from straight up and down because in the center of the frame right you know gravity's pulling us down that way so this pay this 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 whole notebook it's you know flat across the page but we're not looking at it from straight down above now this illusion here this this illusory box that I've drawn you know where things go down And draw a little okay so this little illusory space here that I've drawn it's it looks right from this angle you know looks looks proper it looks as if you know hey we've got It really looks like like this box is connected with the page. It's kind of mind bending, isn't it? Now, I was saying that you have to have a fixed point of view because watch what happens when I do this. I take the camera, I'm gonna unhinge the camera and move it directly up above. All right, now it's directly over the paper. It doesn't look so real anymore, does it? The illusion's busted. Illusion breaks. When you draw, you have to be caught in the illusion. If you keep shifting around, you will never be able to maintain the illusion. That's the first thing. When you draw, sit still. You must sit still. Second thing. Most most drawings, you know, should be done as if they're done straight, like from a head-on perspective, like this, straight down. This is why I normally have my 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 drawing tablet at an angle because you know I'm sitting further back I want to see my page straight on so if your pay if your paper is flat on top of the table that means you're gonna to have to hover looking straight down straight down at, at, at the page like that it's probably gonna be uncomfortable so you might actually find it a lot easier if you can do something like uh, let me get the other camera going you know if you don't want to draw straight down, then you might have to draw on your lap like this. Okay, so now whenever I draw, whenever I draw, you see now I can be at, at, a, at a perpendicular angle to my page. I can look at it like this. So that's the first thing. Fixed point of view. Make sure you got the right point of view. Don't shift around because it breaks the illusion. Next thing you got to deal with is the fact that one image, two eyes. So the problem is that two eyes, when you look at it, are going to tell you that it's it's a it's 
not three-dimensional. In this case, we have one camera, one eye, right? If we if we look at this this other digital camera, this is also one eye. So whenever you draw, you only need to use one eye. So whenever you're looking at something, looking at a drawing, your 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 drawing, it might actually help you to shut one eye or cover one eye or I don't know wear a pirate eye patch. I don't really care. Um, and you'll find that you also have a dominant eye. In my case, it's the left eye. You'll find that the illusion works better when you look, you know, from one eye or the other. So find your dominant eye. You know, you have to, you you have to practice looking at, at at a drawing, or maybe take a photograph. You know, take a take a picture or, or something like that, and look at the photograph with one eye covered until until it comes. You know, until the page, the, until you can actually see into the picture, you'll have to find the right viewing distance as well for the for the picture. You know, sometimes it's up close, sometimes it's far away. So, looking through one eye is, is you know, finding your dominant eye, looking through the one eye, sitting still. You know, those 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 are important things, and you have to get used to that sense of actually falling into the picture. You know, when you look at the photograph, try and get the feeling that hey, you know, all the trees and people are starting to separate onto different distance planes. You need that feeling, and you must not draw without that feeling, or you won't know where where to go. Um, and finally, your eyes can tell distance based on focus. You know, whenever something is in sharp focus, you can you can use that as a way of telling distance. In this case, it works against you. You don't want to be aware that there's ink on a pa on, on a piece of paper. You want to be aware that that is. You just want to sense that there's ink that's going into the page. So that may require that you defocus your eyes. You take your glasses off. You don't, you know, try to hold something in sharp focus. So one eye, defocus. You know, it, when you actually have to put the lines down, then you can, you know, focus. But defocus when you're trying to get back into the image. And um, fixed point of view, stay perpendicular with your image. So those are those are all the things that I can think of that I do that help me to get into the illusion.